Nerdbot Media. Turn it up! Turn it up! At once, there was Nerdbot Con, and we have survived. Victorious, even. Back with the Botcast live on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Anthony Ayala, with my co host, of course, Rachel Litfin. What is Litman? Never die. The Finn, Finn on is, fire. The Finn is on fire and fresh from the Nerdbot Con. And fresh from Nerdbot Con. From You're the glorious battle of Nerdbot Con. Feisty today. And of course, feisty. in for the very first time, he. Hold on, I didn't even roll the applause yet. Settle down. I just he. You got a lot of nerve showing your face in this place, buddy. You got a lot of nerve showing Mr. your face around Mr. Colin you. Bass. It's Bass. I say Bass because it's, it's, it's just bass. a fight with Chuck, with Chuck Nunn. I was literally then, about to correct <laughs> you. No, Colin Bass in reverse flash oranges, ladies and gentlemen. We got the guy right here. What's up, everybody? Happy to be here. Thanks My so co-host you so for, being... for the reverse flash series and the creator behind it, uh, Colin Bass. Dun, Thank down. You. You got it. You're welcome. I'm gonna have to get an 808 sample on here, guys. Oh, so now we got a powerhouse here because we have both of these uh, stars, if you will, from loose term. Our loose <laughs> term. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's already over a hundred thousand views on YouTube alone. So again, take Apparently, a bow for like, that. Latin America and Central America ate it up. They mm. love it. Um, mm. Also, too, if you enjoy what you're watching tonight, share it on your pages. Spread Absolutely. the word about our little podcast here. Absolutely. Make it not so little. So what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to be getting into uh, Reverse Flash Origins, obviously, because we have the talent here. Uh, we have uh, actually uh, and also co-creator, am I right? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm... What does it all in involve? What, what, how I mean, it, it really was your brainchild, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm nothing without my best friend and business partner, Sean Swanson, but to do Reverse Flash Origins, I will, I will take credit for We that, love ourselves some Sean Swanson. We do, it. we do. He's the real hero Incredible guy. He's super funny, um, but also very, very talented behind the camera. Of course, super quickly, if you want to throw out your Instagrams and the pages that you might be able to find uh, what we're talking about, Reverse Flash Origins, of course, and Colin Bass, um, Bass sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can follow me, Colin the Blur, on Instagram. I post most of the Reverse Flash stuff, but we do have a Reverse right. Flash Origins Facebook page, right. and I try to keep that up to date. But if you just Google Reverse Flash Origins, you'll probably find episode one and some teasers and trailers. Yeah. I want to get to sure. some of these comments yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, real quick. The comments are like lighting it's up. Alive. Oh, awesome! Uh, we've got uh, Whitney, our fellow Nerdbot girl. Whitney is in the chat, and she goes, "Turn it up! Turn it up!" Um, she also says, Colin, take your shirt off. There you go. It's kind of Whitney's catchphrase. No, sorry. We'll do Not that in a little time. bit. A little bit. We'll get you wit. That's an episode three <laughs> of Reverse Flash Origins. Yeah. <laughs> um, Miguel West Coast goes all about that bass. Oh, no, yeah. No, but I no. mean. All about that bass. Yeah, uh, we got Rob <laughs> Padres, formerly known as Jack Picage, Reverse Flash, so hype in oh, Espanol. Yeah. See si, me, amigo. Wow. Super hype. Um, Richard Carmona goes, Colin is bait as Fudge. Oh, thanks, dude. Nice. Thank you. Oh, uh, Miguel. Well, I'm here for you, buddy. He goes, I'm here for Rachel. Sorry, oh. you guys can go home now. Wow. It's Rachel's right, show. Everybody. Get out of here, Colin. <laughs> um, yeah, we wow. got some. Can we take a pic of Colin without the flash? Ha ha. ha. I don't have it. I got to go. Oh, bump, 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 Britt's bump. in the chat. Hi, Britt. Good evening, I'm love. Pull up my audio here. You guys keep it rolling. All right. Uh, Reverse Flash Origins was lit, Kate Thanks, Harris Kate. says. <laughs> I would know. I know all things that are lit. Yeah, so why don't you guys I'm go Rachel through. I'm Rachel Well, why don't you go through <laughs> a little bit of the, the process as far as uh, how you came to come up with the idea of yeah. attaching yourself to this franchise, this part of the franchise, I should say. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it brief. We worked with uh, NerdBot on a series last year that just didn't pan out, but we had a great time working. We learned a lot, and we just wanted to do something more. So Elvin, Elvin, Sean Swanson, and I all have a group chat together. It's uh, No offense to my other group chats. It's my favorite group chat. It's always super now funny Now, this and crazy. person named Elvin, is he here right now? No, actually. Well, it sounds, you sound a little crazy now, don't you? I do. He's in the group chat, though, I swear. <laughs> uh, so he hit us up, and he was like, hey, uh, do you want to continue with Bloodhaven, or do you want to do something else? And I, right. I was honest with him. I said, I've kind of lost the passion for Bloodhaven. People have done a lot of Nightwing web series, and I want to do something else. And How I, many Nightwing series were there by the time you were about to 
Don the, the Cape. Off the top of my head, there was like probably three or four other Nightwing series, and I had played Nightwing in like two of them. So like okay, it, was, so it was just like not. I actually really you were not a fan of your own work. Nightwing. That's, that's that was when I really first. first that, I think when I found your your Instagram a yeah. couple years ago, you were Nightwing, and I actually really I was a huge fan of your Nightwing. Thank you. You're welcome. I knew you as Princess Leia and Ariel. I think. Yeah, those yeah. were my big ones about two years ago. That's, what I, that's what I was parading around as for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so then Elvin was like, "Well, what do you want to do?" And uh, I had talked about this with Sean because we did a quick reverse Flash cosplay shorts, another series we right. do, and it really was just like me in a suit doing a quick. Uh, you know the? Do you guys watch the Flash at all? Yeah, no, I don't. I I, I left off in season two. <laughs> in the so beginning, I'm super behind. I loved it. Well, you know the beginning. My name is Barry Allen. Yeah, yeah. Fastest man alive. Yeah, so yeah. we did one where it's my name is Eobard Thawn and I am the fastest man alive. Then we did mm-hmm. his origin, and then he suits up at the end and super speeds That's off. That's fantastic. Right. It was great. I noticed yeah. the cor- I noticed the the mirroring. Yeah. So you almost did choreography. That was nice. Cor- I was actually going to say correlation. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to see like a, a flat, like Colin doing the line dance kind of thing. You know, oh, I mean, show well, tunes. fight choreography. DC show tunes, guys. How about some can can? <laughs> um, yes. Way off topic. So we did, uh, we did that short. Oh, thank you. The audience is just great tonight. Can yeah. I say that? You guys yeah. are so lit. I love you guys. They all paid just to see you. No. That's sweet. The guy who owes $5. You can have a so. cut. Ah. Um, yeah, so then <laughs> Elvin was like, well, what do you guys want to do? And I said, I have always wanted to do a reverse Flash Origins where we play into the whole, like, maybe he wasn't evil the whole time. And well, then, they never are evil, starting out usually. You're not really born evil, are you? Sometimes. Maybe. I mean, Dr. Evil was born evil. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't, actually. He was a, through a series of events. He was born. Yeah, he was a baby. Was Mini-Me born evil? <laughs> he was a really cute little baby with, like, a bald head. He just already looked like that. In, like, Belgium or yeah. something yeah, like that. Yeah, in Belgium. <laughs> and his Belgium. Parents were, his no parents were, you guys. All I know is his parents, his parents were Dutch, and, and Michael Caine hated the Dutch in that movie. But then Michael Caine was actually two things the dad. Right? That I hate. Uh, there's that's only that. two things in this world that I can't stand. <laughs> people who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the, and bloody, the Dutch. The bloody <laughs> Dutch. It was the bloody Dutch. Off topic. What were we talking about? No, I, I love the... Born I love evil. The, born the, evil. Yeah, he so, wasn't born evil. So I kind of wanted to go with like a Anakin Skywalker path, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, better. So handled. you wanted an e- e- what's his name? Ebod, Eobard, Eobard Thon, Eobard Thon that hated sand. That happens. Okay. We, we said that at the panel actually. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I hate sand. No, no, no. Because uh, so we did a panel on Reverse Flash Origins at NerdBotCon this last weekend. Um, it was a great panel. We had a really good turnout. Just really receptive audience, and. The moderator threw a question at me. I play so in Reverse Flash. Who's your moderator? Uh, Crystal. Uh, Chris. Chris. Uh, vegan Spider-Man. Vegan oh, Spider-Man. Bell. Yeah. Vegan Spider-Man. Shout out. But Shout out. Much love. On our panel, he threw a question to me. I play Jane Turner, which is a character we actually did create for the series for mm. Eobard, his love interest. Um, so we kind of added our own character to the DC universe. Right. Um, and you know, he threw he threw some questions at me. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, Eobard's kind of going like, you know, we were kind of doing, I feel like this is really going to turn into an Anakin and Padme thing. Mm. Uh, Annie, you're breaking my heart. Wow. And this one chimes in and, and he goes, I hate sand. I hate sand. I do feel, your, <laughs> I do feel your Natalie Portman-esque influence on your acting. So, act, yeah. Annie, you're breaking That's a compliment. my heart. It is a compliment. Natalie She's a great actress. Oh, I love her. But yeah, so then uh, Elvin said, if you're serious about this, write me a script and let's get it done. Let's mm-hmm. get a teaser done and have this out by Nerd Nights. Right. So we so just four months later. It. No, no way. Um, just <laughs> it wasn't that long. I'm just kidding. I, I felt like rushed, but yeah, we did no, it. Yeah, you guys did it, yeah. And uh, so we had that teaser In the out. dead of, of summer, by the way. Dude. In the dog days. Oh. oh. Everybody lost at least four pounds in one day. I mean, even I was wearing leather. I was wearing leather pants and leather jacket for that, too. Yeah. Everyone in the Can future wears leather. Everyone. Um, <laughs> is, your Rachel, suit, is the suit leather, the reverse flash suit? It's pleather. Wow. It's <laughs> worse. It's pleather. Okay. It's pleather, man. But the cow, thick urethane rubber. Nice. And that's probably the worst. But I got to give props to my co-star here. Uh, during our, like, romantic super cl- <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> always gets me. That's the uh, lip fin applause. It's literally uh, named that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, so during our scene together, so we practiced in this air-conditioned house. We were just in, like, our normal clothes. And yeah. We went out there. And as I, one is in an air-conditioned home, your normal clothing. Well, then I suited up as Eobard, and oh, we yeah, did this scene. 
and we were like we had mastered it here but out in the sun i'm like seeing two of rachel and oh. i have to like put my forehead on her like before which I leave. one do i love and then <laughs> i put it on her and i just feel all my sweat go onto her forehead and i just felt so bad and then i have to like look at her like lovingly in the eyes be like like, you. You, I don't see all and I'm just like, like, <laughs> you're like it's you. she's like I need so another at, at least another case and then of I'm foundation. yelling at Sean Sean where's the paper towels how who much, had paper towel detail how, how much every fa- take how much foundation did you go through that day Rachel not a lot actually I was oh, okay. good right. but we went through a whole roll of paper towels that day oh, wow. <laughs> because it was between like every take I was just like blotting him down like crazy it was rough it was i mean it was great because like we were all troopers that day oh we got we some were comments. all such troopers that oh, day we got comments coming in uh one of them uh from eugene strider Aww. just super quick he says i'm back home safe in nashville thanks for the love this weekend i totally did not get to see hip-hop troopers sad about that but oh, much love. Oh, happy I birthday love love strider a little bit yeah so uh, birthday, shout out to the Strider. It was his birthday friend last of the weekend. Show and uh, apparently birth haver. Happy birthday, birthday hip hop haver. trooper. It was so good to see you at NerdBotCon. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know, hip hop trooper is a friend of the show. We've had him on. Amazing guy. And uh, he's back home in Nashville. So and we love you. Thank you for chiming on. And he owes me five bucks. And he totally owes you five bucks. There you go. And, uh, more comments. Uh, we got some for Reverse Flash. Toby, Bitcoin. have you ever thought of a reverse flash family just like the flash family like with uh like with my parents it's, and it's stuff just, yeah eobod's uh, family essentially gets involved you know what? in the end in hilarity eobard. ensues <laughs> <laughs> we go to a sitcom <laughs> uh, no. eobard eobard <laughs> freeze frame ding um no it's we'll actually be right back it's actually really <laughs> <laughs> It's actually really awful. His his whole background with uh, with his love interests from the future right. and his family is just right. so awful. There's no redeeming. Yeah, qualities. it doesn't start out. It's, uh, no, it's like so a bad. Family film, so definitely not the Disney route. He just really hates sand. <laughs> wow, from the future. From the future, he just hates future <laughs> sand. Yeah, so no, no, no plans for family. I guess like um, Jane said in the first episode, our family, like the potential of having a family. Yeah. That's well, I it. mean, I. I'm upset you're leaving, but I know you have to do it. But I, I yeah, that line I'm saying, you know, you're leaving me. You're leaving your family. Our future we could have together. Yeah. So basically, how dare you? Okay. No, I know. But you'll no, see that, episode I two. I, I, come, <laughs> I come right back to her. I, I come almost to the very moment. Oh. Stop. Will you stop giving it away, <laughs> damn it? Sorry. Jesus. Episode, when does the episode come out, by the way? Reverse Flash Origins, ladies when and gentlemen. When does the second episode drop? <laughs> when does the episode drop? The second episode drops on October 9th, and it's the day before the Flash Season 4 premiere. Dude, that's like in a week. Oh, my God. Sean, it's in a week! Sean, <laughs> Sean, bring more paper towels! Sean's, like, taking his shirt off, like... <laughs> Oh, Whitney Sean, says, take your shirt off. Whitney says, OMG, pregnant Rachel. Uh-oh. No. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Phrasing. Hi, Big Finn. No. No. <laughs> but I will. I gotta announce this real quick. Yeah. Uh, Super tomorrow, great. We're gonna get to the news after that. This is a good ender. Right. Tomorrow we are re- releasing to the whole world the trailer for episode two. So it'll be up tomorrow night. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you, my <laughs> one fan. <laughs> Thank the Lit Finn crowd to cheer for. <laughs> real quick, real quick, Sean Mendoza. I love what you just said, and I'm gonna say this really, uh, really powerful. Like. Excellent. I'm ready. My name is Eobard Thon, and I am the fastest man alive. I went back in time to... No! Turn it off. This does not go. <laughs> okay. Later. I am feisty tonight. <laughs> I did not sleep well last night. <laughs> Rachel Lippin, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, do you want to read it? I'll let you read it. I feel like you should read it. My name is Eobard Thon, and I am the fastest man alive. I went back in time to kill Barry's mother. In doing so, I was stuck in his timeline for 15 years. Now I have someone else become some (laughs) (laughs) right (laughs) it's arrow (laughs) so those of you who are uh familiar with the intro to arrow this person just completely mashed the flash and arrow intro (laughs) oh that's my boy sean sean uh mendoza yeah artist he's awesome mendoza what up sean you're a homie dude thank you for everything claps for sean lift and claps for sean ladies and gentlemen all right snaps Uh, snaps. Snaps. Uh, all right well without much further ado we have some news to get back to with lit finn are you ready for this Y'all ready for this? Rachel. Yeah. What? You ready for this? <laughs> Whitney, don't encourage Anthony with that music. No. The news. <laughs> Stop making fetch happen. It's never going to happen. Stop trying to make fetch happen <laughs> and Civil War music. 
Good evening, everybody. It is Monday night, October the 2nd, 2017. This year has flown by. I'm wearing a scarf tonight because I'm a basic biatch for fall. I'm Good. really excited. Okay, I have your nerd news tonight coming out to you. I was, uh, who is hype for Stranger Things? Me. Me. Uh, Not Anthony. I don't Did you have, actually watch Stranger Things? Cable. No. It's Netflix. Yeah. I don't have that either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stranger Things has, uh, as we all know, uh, season two is coming out at the end of this month, mm -hmm. just in time for Halloween. So mm -hmm. pop some popcorn, get some blankets and your hot chocolate and, you know, binge that stuff. Or sit completely uncomfortable and watch the show as well. It doesn't really matter how you enjoy it. No, well, that you, sounds like it matters. It does. <laughs> no, it matters. You got to, you got to like be all in for that. Colin stepping in to get save Get some Halloween day. candy, light some candles, Stranger Things. Season two is premiering October 27th and season five has just been confirmed. What? We're on season two. That's right. Stranger Things contract has been uh, plotted out all the way up to five seasons. This is confirmed. Whoa, this is the entire money. story arc. And the whole concept is they're going to release a new season every year, and they're actually going to grow up with the kids. Sounds so we're like going to see them. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually going to we're going to literally document these children's Ooh, puberty, it's gonna and be it's going to go through their their years. Um, However, rumor is that the fifth season might not be chronological. It, might, uh, it will be chronological, but it might jump ahead uh, substantially. So there's that. But yes, I'm excited. Stranger Things. We're gonna get a lot, a lot of uh, Stranger Things up in the air. So stranger your things. It's like you can stranger find stranger things. Stranger your things. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Strange magic. But I mean, like, talk <laughs> about having a nice job for a good five oh years. Oh my god! Whatever you want to do. Well, apparently each of those kids made thirty k an episode. So. Oh. And they all seem pretty humble too. Oh, they're super cute. Oh, they're cute. adorable. They're oh. freaking cute as Can hell. Can I they steal were... one? A lot have of child seen... stars aren't that chill. Have you seen their? They're all sweeties. No, but have you seen their video? Their little uh, Snapchats or whatever. Oh, they they're, do? they're freaking they're hilarious so kids, cute. man. Oh Gosh. man, good times. Good times. Why can't I have one of those? Yeah. Well. We're going to have to reverse flash you to go forward in time. I mean, Whitney's all saying that I'm pregnant and stuff. Wow. No. So there you go. But I want one of those. You can can I just jump in time and just, like, steal one of those kids? Have, like, a 12-year-old? You went from Stranger Things. missing thing. all the good years. It's from Stranger <laughs> Thing to Manger Things. What? Manger, manger Things. Wow. Manger yeah. Babies? Yeah. Hey. Wow. Wow. That's a deep pull, by the way. <laughs> that was a blast <laughs> from the past. God damn it, Potter. Wow. All right. I don't have the um, the Reading Rainbow sound effect, but... Da -dun -dun. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right. Stranger Things, October 27th, second season premieres. So hype. Moving on. Do you want to talk about the CW multiverse? I would love to. Let's do it. So those of you who are following Arrow and Flash and Supergirl and... Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow, they're having their annual multi-universe crossover titled Crisis on Earth X. Colin, seeing as you are a current fan of those series and you are pretty caught up with them, why don't you tell us about it? I'd just like to clarify that I watched The Flash, Some Arrow, and Legends. I don't really like Supergirl. That's just, just want to clarify. So How if dare I sound, you? If I How sound like you? that guy doesn't know anything about Supergirl, you're right, I don't. But, um, okay, so uh, as we know, since, man, season one of The Flash, they do a crossover every year. And so originally it was just Arrow and Flash the first year. Then it was Arrow... Flash again, then is Arrow, Flash, Legend of Tomorrow, and then Supergirl was thrown to the mix last year. This next one is going to be all four shows together, but uh, they're going to be fighting like evil versions of themselves from a different oh. Earth. And uh, from from what we see, have seen just in the promo poster that they did, it's this amazing uh, piece of art that has like all of our heroes on one side, and then all of the like reverse versions of them on the other side. But it's nice. not Reverse Flash. It's this guy called Blitzen. And he's like, I think he's bare. He's a Does he have reindeer he, He's a reindeer gone rogue. <laughs> Does he know Rudolph? Was he mean to Rudolph? He's a reindeer gone rogue. You guys, dude. you guys, it's pumpkin spice season. <sighs> he's a reindeer out on the run. Why are you he using one of the rings for this? Back. We must save Santa. We're being chased by ring wraiths. What the we heck? We must save Santa. Santa's gone rogue. Come Is along, Blitzen. Santa's a ring wraith. To the North Pole. We got really off track. Okay, we're done. Alicia, uh, Arrow gets love. <laughs> Arrow got so much better this past season. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give Arrow love for sure. Many, yeah. Um, but uh, so in this crossover, it's, I'm guessing evil versions of everyone, and uh, they're going to come over, and then our heroes will need to unite and fight them. 
Evil. But um, Prometheus is coming back. Ooh. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. He's a really good villain of last season. Well, I thought era. you meant the movie Prometheus is coming. Like it's going to make another. I thought round. you meant the Greek myth- mythological Ooh. character Prometheus. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can, can the fans help me out here? Do you know what I'm shit. talking about? I know, I know, I know I'm trolling you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that is the plan. It's going to be a Fortnite event, and they kind of cheated us last year with it. They just threw uh, Barry and Cisco in at the very end of Supergirl yeah. just to get their, their You guys order up. this pizza? And they're like credits, roll credits. Exactly. Hey, that's the crossover. Whitney, so. I wish I knew what we were talking about, too. Wow. All right, we're, I'm moving on. But, yeah, so four-way crossover event coming next year. When is it next year? This Isn't it coming this fall? I thought it was too Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, my God. It was, I had one job. No, it's literally like next month it's airing. <laughs> Listen to the expert. She knows. The multi-universe crossover event's happening next month in November. Good. November sweeps. Good. They need ratings. <laughs> Yay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> next in nerd news. Uh, we got some Star Wars. Star oh. Wars news oh. for oh. y'all. I don't know if I have the Do you have Star Wars? Shit. Hold on. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'll take the Linux. Yay! Star Wars. Star Wars. That was a close one, dude. I know. I pulled it out of the rear. All right, go for it. Phrasing. <laughs> 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 Rachel, please. We're trying not to get sued. Oh, Whitney. Whitney's on fire tonight. My fandoms include LOTR, pizza, and beer. Yes, girl. You're going to play that through the whole segment, okay? okay? I'm right. still trying. I'm just trying to... I need to review my notes real quick. So oh essentially, right. uh, when The Force Awakens aired, uh, aired, <laughs> premiered, and uh, we all saw the coordinates for Luke's um, location, mm-hmm. some nerd in the last mm-hmm. two years wow. deciphered the language uh, no. used. No. Is this spoilery? No, 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 it's not. Okay. okay. Arabesh. Okay, that's it. That's what it is. All right. There's a language in the Star Wars universe, much like, you know, how Star Trek has Klingon, a ah. complete made-up language. There's a language called Arabesh, which is widely used throughout uh, Star Wars. It's more like a, their common tongue. A lot of their um, yeah, maps and things, just things you see being, being you know, written out, it's an Arabesh. And a eagle-eyed fan saw the map and coordinates and everything on where Luke was located. And mm-hmm. in Arabesh, painstakingly charted out the constellations actually figured out in the hypothetical universe where Luke is hiding out, which is uh, the Jedi Temple on the planet Akto. Which is everything Octo. they told us at uh, the end of the well, movie. Well, here's the they? thing. Apparently... did they tell us that? No, 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 no. no. But, here, but here's the thing. Apparently, Akto is literally so ridiculously easy to find. Yeah. The whole thing is, he started trolling J.J. Abrams like, this thing is literally next to, like, Naboo. It's like... Like a hyper jump away from Naboo and Hoth. It's like in their same star system. Right. And so it was just interesting that in such a non real universe, someone was able to literally pinpoint in fictional made up stars where Luke is literally actually wow. I'm a big I nerd love. too, but that's a lot of time. That's on your it, hands, took him, right? it, took him, it took him like two years. I'm, I'm running around in superhero suits like half the time. The, but I don't think I mean, I, there's levels of nerd. There's no, levels yeah, of nerd. The worst that's part a of, new one for me. No, but the worst part about it is at any time that they want, they can just change the lore if they want and be like, yeah, that language, you transferred it to that, but it doesn't mean that. And then it'll be over. Then his all his work will be nothing. Two years of my life. Yeah, like gone let's from just nothing. Give it, let's just give it to this... Uh, Unnamed fan. Praise they Jar actually, Jar. You know, in the article, they actually didn't even name the fan. That's really sad. They didn't give him credit. That's super sad. Hey, whoever you are out there, come watch our show. We'll give you a shout out. Gosh darn it, Nerdist. You'll, you'll get your I picked this news up from you guys, okay? But anyways, that was... Um, so, hey, but Jordan. The whole, but the whole Jordan's point, watching. I'm... Oh, Hi, Jordan. Hi, I'm Jordan. Doing the news. That's our bro, Mini Boba Fett. Mini Boba Fett. Uh, and hi, Heath. And hi, Justin. What up, bro? Throwing out the shout out. It's a member of Ten Boys. All right. And it's all my roommate um, joined in, too. It was just interesting to see that a fan spent two years completely deciphering Arabesh and plotting out the actual coordinates of Octo, which is the planet we're going to be seeing uh, Luke and Ray training on. Well, I love it. And there it is. That was a little low. Yeah. That was a little low. (laughs) Yeah, I know. All right. We'll continue, and I'll fix it for next time. Last on our nerd news, I just want to point out... Sorry, I almost Rick rolled. There are, there are a ton of movies coming out in the next couple weeks, y'all. I'm going to go so broke going to the, the movies constantly. So the two movies. Is I that just, where they have the, the movies at the movies? I mean, they also have them in the Pirate Bay. Oh, okay. Not, oh! not that I go there. Alert. I alert. I don't go to the Pirate <laughs> Bay. I don't even know what the Pirate Bay is. 
Wow. It's not like Booty Bay in World of Warcraft. Wow. It's the Pirate Bay. Fra Anyways. Crazy? I was on a Warcraft kick what this last say, week. What uh, do you say, Toby? <laughs> Before, what are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, my water world drop didn't work out as well as I needed it to. So essentially, <laughs> I finally got around to seeing the movie It last night. And it is such a well done movie. And it is terrifying. It is The Goonies meets Stranger Things, but mm. just absolutely just insanely scary. Uh, but well, but so well done. Like the the jump scares were not cheap. They were really fulfilling. It was well done. It had a very Spielberg esque feel to it. And then you know, finally getting getting around to seeing it last night, I realized, oh my gosh, you know, I haven't seen the new Kingsman movie yet. Mm. And in the next like five weeks, yeah. in this order, we have Blade Runner twenty forty nine coming out. Yeah, we which, have Ready Player One, which you're obligated to see. Uh, oh, Blade I Runner, mean, you're obligated to see. I'm named after the original Blade Runner. Yeah. Like, Rachel from Blade Runner is my namesake. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Sick. Hi, Dad. Yeah, big Finn. <laughs> Hashtag oh, Big, big Finn. Finn. Hey, I'm getting some exos. What's up, Josh? Hey, big boy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Hey, this ain't Power 106. You can't just interrupt Rachel's news. I'm like, so I'm sorry. Okay. Still I'm just it's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Colin's I'm, our guest. He I'm can do whatever he wants. <laughs> some love. Elvin, can we get some cookies for Colin? Let me shut up. Um... But yeah, so I mean, in the next couple of weeks, we have, uh, you know, it, it is already out. That's a fantastic movie. The Kingsman movie was great as well. Not as good as the first they said, but it was still really fulfilling. So those are, have already been out for a couple of weeks. And just coming right on the heels of that, Blade Runner comes out this week. We have Ready Player One in a few weeks from then. Then in November, we've got Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. And I know I'm missing some other good movies, too. There's just, important. There's just a lot in the nerd fandoms coming right. out in the next, like, month and a half. And I'm just like... Oh, my gosh. So just on an overload this autumn, if you say that there's nothing to watch, shame on you. Yeah. Shame. I'm just hyped for all the for all the good stuff coming out. Everyone's telling us where they were named after or what they were named after. Oh, excellent. All right. In the comments. All right. I like that. In the comments, everybody I'm throw out. My dad. What um, were you named after? Whitney. Bonus named points after if it's Whitney super Houston. nerdy. Bonus points if it's super nerdy. Whitney Houston. I Anthony. don't have my song. God damn. Anthony, <laughs> who are you named after? Um, I'm named after um, a grandfather, I do believe, although I'm pretty sure everybody's just been lying to me. Because <laughs> it's like, sounds well, like, you really like, where, so do you get like a, where do you get like an Anthony in the middle of Mexico? Antonio. What, yeah, exactly. Well, see, but it would be Antonio if it was Antonio, but my birth certificate say, is named Anthony. See? Ah, so here we go. Tricky, that's tricky. Where, no, well, that, that's, that's where you get into, like, the melting pot of America. Like, that, that was that point. You ever seen uh, Coming to America starring Cheech Marin? That's essentially the story of my dad's seen, life. I've actually, that is a movie I've actually seen. All right. Way to go. Yeah, Make some I've seen a vintage movie. <laughs> All right. So what do we got next? That's it. All right. That's it for the news? That's it for the news. All right. Short Way news to go, night. Rachel Lipfin. Hey, there's some, <laughs> some more name news. Wendy Liu is named after Wendy and Peter Pan. That's oh, pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I want. I can't wait in like another 15 years or 20 years. We're gonna be like, I'm named after. Uh, I'm named after a character on Starcraft. Oh, <laughs> Jordan is so cute. Jordan goes, me. I'm not sure. I'm just Jordan Parker. Aww. That's great, right there. People will be named after. If little you, brother, well, you're the not, cutest. If not, if not, they're just going to be trying to find out what they're named after. So that'd be sweet. Toby's named after Kunta Kinte from Ooh, Roots. Sa Kunta Kinte from Roots. <laughs> Sandra's named after Sandy from from Greece. These are all great. These Mine's are such a lame story. You guys want to know my What's story? What's yours? Right, here we go. All right. uh, so Colin. your dad went fishing, and how no. Do you, how do you know that? Oh my God! I did it. I won. Are you referring to my last name? <laughs> <laughs> you can't choose your last name, dude. Uh, no. So my dad was a lifeguard. <laughs> they shouldn't have plotted that. <laughs> My dad was a lifeguard, and them. he was in a class, and there's this this a guy. Oh. There's this guy in class that was like, I don't know. My dad didn't really like him <laughs> in general, but he's like, man, I do like that name. Wow. So I got named after a guy my dad didn't even like. You got revenge named. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. That was a vengeful name. See, there's no you know, cool that story. Don't feel bad about your last name. My last name is, is Fish, too. I don't feel bad about Here's what I'm going to do. Lipfin and Bass. I'm going to have a son. Yay, Fishies. I'm going to have a son, and I'm going to name him after the guy I hate. And Call that'll it. tell everybody not to mess with the basses. It's the Bass, basses. dude. <laughs> with the Basses. I'm pretty sure Colin hates you now. No, so no, Colin's going to name I'm his like first son Anthony. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anthony Bass? We're coming full circle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's good. Carrying on the tradition of your father.
father. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. <laughs> Bye, buddy boy. Hey, that's, that's, yeah, that's it's not a close story. Rachel's, Bye, Jordan. Love that's you. That's Rachel's one good joke for the year, so uh, enjoy it while we have. <laughs> My Batman. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that wraps up. The, didn't you have a Justice Rachel. League? What was the Justice League thing? Rachel. Just that. Where is she? <laughs> uh, I found her. She's right here. That, <laughs> no, just uh, some new no, new pictures came out of, right. of all the characters. Oh, okay. It's nothing so we hadn't it's seen, ju- but, but it's it just like. It was high res. It looked yeah. really good. Okay, yeah, excellent. All right. Well, I got to find my. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. If this was a duel, you would be dead. <laughs> I know, right? It's, if I was a duel, if I was dueling with 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 iMusic, yes, what? I would not be able to get very much done. Hey, my brother's trying to burn me right now. I witnessed my brother watch Gilmore Girls and Rolling Policy Ollie. Rolling Policy Ollie. <laughs> wow, it's true. Rolly I, like, po- I, I watched it. Rolling Policy Ollie. I was way too old to watch it though. I'm gonna go. I was too. I'm gonna I, go with Rolling Policy because that sounds a lot. I like. I was watching Rolling Policy. <laughs> rolling <laughs> Policy. That's, Children's it was Journal. A court show on it's time. very mature, yeah, actually, yeah, for my age. Thanks, Dane. You That's go, where you, you get the crime out. drama sense from for the for the reverse Flash stuff. Yeah, excellent. yeah. Miguel no. from the West Coast thinks I should fire you all. Wow. Really? I think we're doing a great job. You are, Colin. Miguel. You are. <laughs> We have Colin from Reverse Flash in studio, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one thing, actually, what the question that I actually kind of bounced off of that um, might entail back into you, which uh, is uh, what shows did you watch that kind of compelled you to kind of make the type of drama show that you have? Yeah. Because Reverse Flash is kind of a drama. Uh, maybe you can kind of give in a little bit of Sean's influences as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe if Sean's watching, he can uh, get off the toilet and type some comments <laughs> on it. Come on, Sean. Stand up for yourself, bro. Um. Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, I'm just not, like, very, like, comedic when it comes to writing. Okay. So uh, You're hilarious. What you're are you talking funny. about? Thanks, yeah. guys. I've, I've never been the funny guy, like, ever. Right. Like, I can, like, do comebacks, but, like, writing, I'm right. like, man, it'd be so funny if Reverse Flash different. pants someone or something. It's know. different because you're trying to generate a reaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but um, the big show that was, like, a huge part of me growing up. Uh, was Smallville. I was a huge Aww. Smallville. Oh, nice. Classic. It was like, good. No, Very classic. Get, it, it, was, it was the first of its kind. and I, It, it had, really was. And it got really bad, but it got really weird, but I still loved it. To I've seen every episode. I own every <laughs> Things episode. Things got weird. <laughs> and uh, to give you an idea, like... Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a... Uh, uh, unknown a random lo- Chuck Nunn appears. Or a lover, perhaps. I <laughs> love you, Chuck. I love you, buddy. Um, Run away or uh, fight. Um, I totally <laughs> lost my train of thought because some stud came it's in here. Pikachu, I no, just, I'm going to tell you like This how is the kind of untamed show that we have here. Just people just randomly walk in. A random Pokemon appeared. <laughs> Chuck Nunn. That was a weird looking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like I was, I was obsessed with it growing up and like I wanted to be just like Clark Kent. Right. And I, I was, it was my first girlfriend and I was ready to have like my first kiss, but I was super scared yeah. of my first kiss. Right. So I had no idea what to do. I, I just watched Smallville and saw how Clark was kissing Lana. And I was like studying it. I was like, this okay, should work. I can do this. I can do this. And then uh, I had my first kiss with Anna Jackson. And it nice. went pretty well. Very nice. <laughs> how old were you? I was 13. Oh, that's adorable. Did I you wonder fall? how she's doing. No. Did you fall? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I wonder if I and ever I still love you. <laughs> I, hope God. I hope she's out there somewhere. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. What was her, what was her name? Anna Jackson. Anna Jackson. <laughs> Never gonna it's, give. It up. It's only been like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably has a kid now. <laughs> She's got like three uh, kids. A mortgage. One named Colin. <gasps> Out of revenge. Does that mean she hit me? Out of revenge. <laughs> she. So there's she a chance. She doesn't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> We're wanted men. Never mind. You're okay. I like you, Colin. No. Thank you. But yeah, so Smallville. No, no, no. Is I'm gonna name my son after you, Colin. No, I'm kidding, right? So Smallville is a big, a, a huge part, and nice. then it's also just kind of my writing style. Yeah. Uh, I that's just I it, when I write these episodes, I really right. think what can we do and what do I want to see, right. honestly. And right. that's like where it goes. As far as the the lore of what you're trying to create. Yeah, right? and like I. Uh, so it was a natural curiosity that stemmed from your fandom at, from the Flash, or 
was, is it the flash or reverse flash? Like, what? How did it get there? I'd say both. I mean, apart like when the first day we filmed, I was like, the thing that I have in common with Eobard Thon is that we both love the Flash. So okay. Kind of like plays into the character. All right. But when uh, when Reverse Flash was the main villain in um, season one, and then in season two of Legends of Tomorrow, mm -hmm. and they barely touched his origin, and I wanted. To know more, so I, I feel like, like he is such a deep character, and he's such a pivotal part of the Flash's life. He really should have a better fleshed out backstory. Yeah, and I, maybe they're saving it for a future season. Maybe we don't know, but, but uh, we got it first. So yeah. Well, Matt Letcher, the, that character, the actor that plays uh, the actual reverse Flash. He retweeted he us. He yeah. shared our first episode. Okay, cool. Yeah. So he, yeah. you're on the radar now. I am, Absolutely, yeah. excellent, man. It was, it was an honor. You're oh my get gosh, dude, for we're the on show, the radar. Bro. Yeah. Wow. We're almost to James Franco level, guys. No. We're headed How there. many degrees to James Franco? How much are we it's to not even Kevin Bacon we anymore. We got to check the J. Many? Let's check the J. David. Frey meter. What are we at? Oh, it's not there anymore. All right. We're going to get that installed again. The James Franco degrees removed we, meter. We had to pay for it to pay for uh, Rachel's uh, bangs cut because they're growing back so quickly, according to her. Healthy hair. Healthy hair. Healthy Calcium. Girl. She drinks her milk. Pantene Pro V. Hey, David, thank you, man. David says to uh, never let's get let some go. comments because everybody's <laughs> been dropping comments for a while. Uh, they're just let, having my back <clears> on Smallville. Right. They're talking about the Green Arrow. Uh, Chuck shaves. He knows what's wrong with that. Uh, no, Chuck had no, a dirty old beard. I have no idea. Uh, never let go, Colin. Never what? let go. No. All right. We got. Uh, do I have that? <laughs> Maybe I have that for you. you Hold should, on. should, please. Hold on. Hold on. I want it. Oh, my God. Do I not have that? Jesus. Yes. What? No. One more time. One more time. Do it again. Do it again. Sorry. Green Day wanted to play. What? Good no. night, Whitney. Yes. Good night, Whitney. Beautiful, Excellent. beautiful so, uh, goddess. So, this just... Sweet dreams. All right. Well, where's my son? Bella Nerdbot Girl. Um... You want to announce it? Yeah, I want to okay, announce it. On, this just in. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Go for it, Rachel. Oh, I get the music. I know. Time. Now you're the announcer. Go for it. This just in, according to our producer. As you all know, we just wrapped NerdBot Con, and we just had Nerd Nights, our most uh, recent one, this last Saturday night. It was pretty lit. Yes, we did. Our next Nerd Nights is getting announced right now. Put this on your calendars, everybody. November 9th. It's in about a month from now. November 9th. Ah. Be there. Be square. Dave and Buster's in Arcadia, California. Beautiful downtown Arcadia. We will have our Nerd Nights November is it 9th. Is it downtown? I don't know if it's downtown. Arcadia. It is now. Uh, it's <laughs> down. <laughs> We're moving it. You go Here's to the, the town kicker, and you though. go down. Here's the kicker, though. It is the last one of 2017. <gasps> that is not So true. if you haven't gotten down, you better get down with your bad self on November 9th. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till 2018. Yeah, last Nerd Nights that we had was uh, just on an after party for NerdBotCon. Again, NerdBotCon was a complete success. Uh, we had uh, thousands of people there. It was awesome. Litfin was there. The bass was there. It's bass. <laughs> <laughs> the bass. Drop uh, the bass. The bass is back. Died. Whoop, huh? whoop, 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 died. Oh, no. Okay. All right. You're on the Litfin. Oh, okay. You're on the let Litfin's move, con. Let me move my, my thing. I can read uh, it. Yeah, the bass but, was you know, there. We had a good time. Anybody who is familiar with Nerd Nights, you know the, you know, you know the deal. Dave & Buster's in Arcadia. We usually have some sort of deal to get you in and get you a uh, power ticket for gaming and drinks that night. But it's always a great time. I am such a hermit, and I actually make the effort to come out to Nerd Nights. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm actually forced, because right. I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel but Lippin I is do better. enjoy it. <laughs> Rachel Lippin is holier than thou. <laughs> Yeah, it's part of my contract. I have to go to every Nerd Nights. No, no, no. I enjoy going to Nerd Nights. It's awesome fun. It gets me out of my shell. Uh, I sang karaoke last time. I sang Safety Dance. That is now my staple karaoke song. Did you do that this last one? I did. Oh, I missed it. All right. If you sing that song before I do, I will cut you. Wow. That is my song. That's Nerd Nights. Promise. I don't know about the violence that you're projecting. <laughs> but anyways, Nerd Nights, the next one, November 9th. Put that on your calendar. We'll have more announcements as to the theme and whatnot coming up. Right. But uh, we're just getting that out there right now. So. Excellent. And of course, if you need to find all that information out, you can always follow our event pages. We have our Facebook.com slash Nerdbot Media page, which has all the information and everything we do. You can also find us on Instagram at Nerdbot Media. And there's also an at Nerd Night. So if you want to follow that, you'll get to see all the pictures that we post from that, of course. And of course, all the information for all these events that we do here at Nerdbot. Uh, you can find all the information out at nerdbot.com. So even stuff like uh, our Nerdbot Con that we had, Nerd Nights, um, the events that we have throughout the year, like a lot of you can always find information about that at nerdbot.com. 
Uh, Tony Adams in the comments, she's going, wow, what's the theme? Again, we're not quite sure what the theme is going to be, but we know for sure November 9th, it's locked in. Uh, more to come on that. So. It'll be Smallville themed. Yes. Oh, they, the crowd likes it. The crowd it. loves it. I they want to see Colin Bass hung up on a cross he got in it. a square crow field. <laughs> With uh, with uh, the kryptonite around his neck. Wait, did you just call him Bass? Yeah. He did. No, it's Bass. He cares. Don't fuck with me. Right <laughs> I just locked you this care. shit down right now. All right. You Phonetics. Care. Phonetics, care. please. It's just after I saw what happened with Chuck Nunn coming in and disturbing you, I didn't want anything worse than that happening to you right now. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> All right. So uh, just a couple more things, I guess, that we can cover because we have some time left as far as uh, the filming. What's something that you haven't done yet? I know, like, you, you didn't get Bloodhaven done, but there were actually people throwing some love for Bloodhaven, so maybe you might want to really? touch back on that. But are there, is there anything other than Flash that piques your interest that maybe once you guys get a couple of these episodes in, you might want to start looking in a different direction, superhero-wise, uh, a different cowl that you might have to wear? Well, I think once we learn a little bit more about the Justice League and the Ezra Miller Flash, that'd be really fun to touch base on because I have a, a really good suit. What's the Ezra Miller Flash? That's uh, the one for, that's going to be in Justice For those League. who don't know. That uh, it, Ezra the, Miller's the actor who's playing the Flash in, in the Justice League movie. Yeah, in, this, in the DC Cinematic Universe, Ezra Miller's going to be Barry Allen. The latest with... with um in, with you know Batman versus Superman, exactly. that, that trilogy, yeah, that, yeah. That, all of that. Okay, that storyline. Uh, so he's in like the armored suit you've probably seen running around the internet, and um, I think once we learn more about him, we want to go touch base on that because we did a short for uh, for Nerdbot, and we had this full head to toe armored Flash suit that I just loved. I loved it. I loved wearing it. I loved being the character, the special mm -hmm. effects. It honestly looks really good on you for whatever reason. I mean, you, I feel like you really resemble Ezra Miller anyways. Thank you. So you wearing that suit is sometimes there's cosplay that's just genetically just looks really, it fits you. It looks really good. That one, your face, you look, you look like Ezra Miller a bit. So. Oh, you know what would be fun? Um, how about everybody who's a fan of Colin, obviously, out there. How about you throw out what you'd like to see Colin Cosplay uh, next? Yeah, what would you like to see Colin do? Not, not just cosplay, but video? just not just cosplay, but what he what you want him to see, you know, uh, uh, maybe a mini series or something. You know, yeah, that'd be Any really new great. projects you'd want to see Colin uh, yeah, kind of take some on ideas. and work on? And we just lost twenty viewers. Yeah, was, that's <laughs> it goes. Wow. No, it's all good. Uh, so I we, think we lost him after I, I stopped calling you bass. Oh no. I, I, so uh, yeah, now that we're on the bass, it's bass. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, well, we, <laughs> did your family ever have one of those singing bass fishes? Oh, God. Yeah, actually. My grandpa did. My yeah. Gran my grandpa, Anthony. There's a lot of irony there. <laughs> he hates him, coincidentally. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to name his son after him. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. No, uh, we, but we're, we're throwing it out there to see what they want to uh, do. But in the meantime, something that you've maybe had in mind, uh, I, I don't want to throw up the... Oh, Tony says Harry Potter. But, Harry Potter. <laughs> That'd be good. What part of Harry Potter? Harry Potter uh, trying Marauders. to buy a house in the suburbs? The Marauders. I'll be that super senior that like won't graduate <laughs> Hogwarts. <laughs> Just Harry, like, keeps partying. The whole You're day. like 37 still at it's, Hogwarts, it's, growing out of your even, gross. Oh, Snape, what up, bro? Harry Wilder. <laughs> Harry Wilder. <laughs> Harry Wilder. <laughs> and yeah, your dad is played. Great job, Tony. Your dad's played by Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God, that'd be sick. You got a little. You got a little bit of Reynolds going on. A so when are we doing this? Face. Uh, as soon as reverse flash. <laughs> Roger from America. <laughs> that would be great. My Little Pony. I love Roger. I don't Roger. think these suggestions are very serious. Dino Thunder. Yeah, baby. That's my favorite Power Ranger <laughs> season. I want to do the ponies. I don't really like You'd get a, You know how much traction you Can get I with the My Pie? Little Pony? Sure. Sure. He's a little bit disturbed by the My Little Pony thing. Power <laughs> Rangers. Tony Adams I would, I would, chimes in with the Rangers of the, the Power. Are Tony, those Power right. Rangers from and the And all the backflips and the explosions, the unnecessary explosions. So bad for my yes. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> It throws particles into the air. You guys are good. <laughs> I'm totally down for Power Rangers. Well, yeah. what Ranger then? You want to see Colin as Superman? Mm. I do Smallville. Oh, Digimon. You guys are like, do you guys know me or something? <laughs> this is great. Oh, it's Toby. What up? Yeah, um, uh, my favorite season's Dino Thunder. Again, way too old to be watching it, mm -hmm. but I did. And I mm -hmm. still rep it. Right. Uh, Digimon. I like Digimon over Pokemon. Game Master. Um, oh, Game I'm Master. I'm going to have to find the trader for you. Hold on. You give me a second. Why? What trailer? Oh, because Digimon and Pokemon were rivals. And the fact that you like Digimon so much, he's a total Pokemon. Trader! There it is. There you go. That's for you, buddy. How am I a traitor if I was never You guys are Pokemon really going to end up naming your kids after each other. Trader! Look at this. Plan. Battle no, lines are getting drawn right now. You know, when I was going to bring you on this show, I am Colin. caught in the middle. 
I was like, I'm going to like this guy by the end of the show. And now you're giving me all this Digimon talk. What are we going to do? Should we change subject? Probably, for your safety, yes. Yeah. Pokemon, here alive. gotta catch him. Oh. oh, look. Tony <laughs> likes it. Tony. Digimon was pretty cool, but it, it, it got, like, side shot. Like, it existed on its own as a shadow of Pokemon, which was fine. That's true. No, that's but true. When, when Yu-Gi-Oh! came along, there was no room. There, there was no room for extra. All right, do you remember this one? Monster Rancher? Oh, my God. Wow. No, I'm not high five for that. Nah, come on. Monster right, Rancher. That's deep, bro. Monster. All right, I got a theme people. song? Yes, I do. Do it. Sing it. My, my, my monster droid. Right? I don't know. I just remember the first Something part. Something so the mystery disc will take it to the shrine. So you know that part? I only know the take beginning. Take it to I was the, transported. To a faraway <laughs> land, to a world where, where monsters, monsters rule. rule. Monsters rule. I play the game like an ace. Now we're in this place to save the monsters from the evil Moo. Yes. Moo was the main bad guy. Their I main bad guy was that. called Moo, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so right, lost. Let's move on. Let's yeah. be crowd pleasing. There's no, and then there's no big Finn connection to this. We can't, we can't uh, get her on Monster Rancher. Like, ha, can you even find Monster Rancher? Is it I like would hear about Monster Rancher, and I would thought, I thought my friends were talking about Here's, really huge Jolly Ranchers, which was my favorite candy. That would time. actually be really cool. <laughs> and, I thought, and I thought that's what it was, and I was really confused on the playground for a long time because everyone was talking about Monster Ranchers, so and I thought it was candy. <clears throat> but here's what was cool about Monster uh, Ranchers. Is it, it debuted on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, and what you could do is the game itself was like you had to use other CDs to unlock oh! monsters. Ooh. So you would, you, would put the, you would start Monster Rancher. The game would command you to open up your system while it's still running. You take out that game. You find any random household CD, and you stick it in there. And according to whatever code it reads on that, it'll give you a monster based on that. That's so pretty you, cool. It is a really good idea, but I think it was ahead of its time. I think it was, it was also maybe too uh, damaging to, to CDs because, you know, like every time you take a CD out, it would scratch it. So uh, it was just ahead of its time, but a really good show. Mm. It, I, well, right, huh? No, it only had like one season, so I mean, Dude, I'm surprised you knew the theme song. Jesus, uh, God, I'm the impressed. things that are burned into my brain, it is not healthy at all. But going, <laughs> but going back, are we getting any? Oh, they said VR Troopers. Would you do VR Troopers? Did that's you like not, VR Troopers? Not, uh, yeah, I watched it a little bit, but I mean, those suits alone would be pretty crazy. To, ooh, ooh, Mega Man. What would be even oh, Mega Man would be pretty cool. I would be down to be Proto Man. What's Proto Man? The red guy with the shield. Okay, got it. I, hey, there's I a guy named Bass in there. Okay, so I mean, are we going to make the crossover? Right, moving on, I'm going to take control here real quick. Uh, in the comments, we're kind of talking about Colin, our guest here, is uh, well, the writer Colin of does. the Reverse Flash Origins series, which is an original series, which is kind of mirroring the CW Flash series being put on uh, Nerdbot Media. It's the timeline it. before. It's the timeline before. And we're asking Colin what other series is would he be interested in uh, adapting and kind of making uh, live action versions so of or, you know, different lore in those worlds so you're, if you have any kind of ideas or suggestions uh throw those out to colin and we'll uh we'll kind of discuss them on air right so now. you're the you're essentially a prequel to the what's happening on the live show currently yeah i mean we see a much older and experienced eobard thawne I see. battling the flash and i'm a, i don't sorry matt letcher i must be like 15 years younger or something yeah. so we He's watching to, you, hating you right now. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. No, uh, but Come at him, bro. We, yeah, please. He'll take you. Come hang any out. Any day, any time. Come hang out with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we basically we lead up to the, the defining moment in episode one of The Flash where Barry's, Barry Allen's mom dies. And okay. Chad Snackerman, this is not Chris Pratt talking, though. That would be very cool. Have you thought about doing a Star-Lord cosplay? I did a Star-Lord video, actually. It's coming out this week. It's called oh. Marvel Guardians. Oh, Honestly, nice. I could see you looking. You, you yeah. have a Chris Pratt vibe you. have the you. Pratt. I kept my mask on the whole time. Why? But the hair stuck out at the top, right? Yeah. So then that's okay, the, that's it. The, the that's Pratt, the Chris the Pratt. Pratt hair. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Go easy, touching. easy. But uh, yeah, so the, we had Iron Man, Deadpool, Doctor Strange, and uh, Star Lord on one video. Excellent. Uh, are there any more? Uh, I think everybody keeps saying Superman. They really want you to take on Superman. Yeah, some sort I of, can see it. You got the curl. Sort of small you already got the or... hair curl going. Who I can would make love it to do small Would you though? star in it, or would you cast somebody? Would you dye your hair black for it? Uh, if I'm going to do anything Superman, I have to be, like, a young, like, and I have to work out really hard for a long time. I would want to do him justice, is what I'm saying. Can you do Robin Hood Men in Tights for me? Yes! Did you look like the dude already? 
You he does not look like, like yeah. no, Carrie Elwes. No, Carrie Elwes has baby blue eyes. And then all you have to do is just the go, ocean oh, wow, why do you have to after knock a Hey, come on. Horrible hey, storm. Hey, that's my friend Colin there, <laughs> right? That's my friend Colin. I am no, I'm talking right? about Carrie Elwes. <laughs> hey, Miguel says you can be Lois. I uh, have a British No, I want to be Lana. Lana. I like her best. Well, I uh, met Lana in real life. Lana. I'm a, the the I'm Lana a, that I imagined while I'm a, I was trying to learn I'm a, how to kiss. I'm a Quana shipper. Oh, I guess. oh you met her? I met, I, you met the hot I, Lana? I, I touched her, dude. I touched I her. I hate you so much. It was awesome. You're the she, worst. I was, it was actually, I was with Sean. Sean, this is a great yeah. story. Shows dude. what a good friend you oh, are. Oh, we have, we have evidence then. Pride and Prejudice with zombies. Ooh. That'd be good So one. many projects. Wait, how are people going to bed? It's barely hey, 10 man. o'clock. It's Monday. Y'all are my spirit animals. O'clock. I go to we bed at like 10 partying. o'clock every night if I can. Everybody was partying out. I'm a grandma. I wow. sit up. I have a book. I'm reading. I think someone mm-hmm. just drew you, Rachel. Who drew me? I just me? saw something pop up. I think Sean did. Excellent. I think it's on your Instagram. Excellent. I just saw it. Somebody, please draw Rachel more. We need more drawings. However Paint crude. Paint me like one of your French girls. However <laughs> crude you can draw them. We want to see them. In fact... <laughs> We'll post your drawings on the NerdBot podcast page. So if you just send your drawings of Rachel. Before to my us. phone died, I think I got one too. Oh, yeah, you got it. Sean awesome. Mendoza, you just drew me. Oh, yes. See? Did and you yeah. tag me? Yeah, I think I saw it pop you up on your. Message me, Instagram. tag me. I want to see it. <laughs> awesome. Everybody's Tony Adams is awake on honey and sugar. Can I tell you about is... meeting Chris and Chris? Go for it, Lana. please. Super quick. Uh, real quick. So I was at WonderCon. It was like a Beauty and the Beast thing, but I just wanted to meet her because of Smallville. Right. And so I see her coming down the, the line. What of, did like, she do pretty? in Beauty and the Beast? Was she pretty? She was the beauty. Oh, was she, she was the Was she pretty? She was Belle. What did her hair do? So right when she walks in, I just instantly start sweating. I was just like, this is the girl I had a crush How on. How old were you? This was like. I was like 22. <laughs> I, was, I was a grown man. So last week. Yeah. Right. No. <laughs> Four years ago. Um, and then so I'm, I go to Sean and we have our camera and everything. And I have like questions in my head. And I go, Sean, I'm like sweating really bad because she's shaking people's hands. And he goes, wipe them on me. Wipe them on me. So I nice. wipe my hands on him. That's good, bro. And then That's as good, she gets there, I shake her hand. And I just like totally I you, forgot Sean. all my questions. And I was all, so you've been in Smallville and Legend of Ching Lee and Beauty and the Beast. How does it feel to when you need to do the action? Nice. And, the, and, I, and then Sean's like, nice. come on, bro. And then I pull it back. I was like, how do you do all the stunts or something? So I nice. just like butchered it. Saved it. But then Saved I was like it. actually kind of flirting Crushed with her a little it. bit. And, wow. and like, she's like, I just got the airplane. I'm like, oh, you look great. And she's like, oh, stop. And then Sean behind the camera's all, oh. Like, <laughs> it totally ruined my <laughs> shot. Oh, my so God, I just, I just looked like a dork the whole time. The one time I was cool, we lost the yeah. footage because Sean's like, oh. Damn it, Sean. But he was a great friend by letting me wipe my hands yeah, Absolutely. On. Okay, that's my story. How much? Wow. At, so at this point, how much uh, DNA have you had to wipe on your friend? Wow, this to is this took a <laughs> phrasing, <laughs> phrasing. Why don't to we get have through any personal situations? Wait, she God. had she had my sweat on her. So that's, that's enough. Enough. Can we all talk about <laughs> and then. The- <laughs> wow, God. Sean had my sweat on him. So I like this story. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> she um, had her sweat. <laughs> there was sweat everywhere in those times. You had to sweat. How else would ever people know you were hot? <laughs> All right. Get it together, oh, Rachel. Man. Jesus. Yeah, it's so just wet. You All ask right? the question. I'm just here to answer them. You know? Wow. You got to have a good friend like Sean, though, because that's, that's super in the moment. That's like, like hey, just wipe them on me. Bam. Let's do this. That's great, man. That's a team effort. No, seriously. How I, long have you guys been a, a, a working team like that? Like, dude, I know you guys are friends, obviously, but. No, uh, but, we grew up down the street from each other since kindergarten, but we weren't friends until we were like 21. Oh, so we were like, cool. we were eight houses away, right. and then we just got. You guys knew each other, kind of? Yeah, we yeah. had just different friends. I was, right. the, I was like the jock. Ships passing in the night. Totally. We never had a problem with each other, but we just like. We just we're ne- we never hung out. Right. And then uh, we you also it's like you don't really know each other. And then like once you finally do meet, you're like, oh shit, we have almost everything in common. Well, I always joke that I'm like, dude, you should have given up on me a long time ago. <laughs> but he just keeps being the best like Aww, business partner and best cool, friend. Man. So. And you guys have so, but now at this point, when you guys are working as far as production goes, like, do you guys have your own? Uh, pace that you work at yeah. now you guys got a good dynamic it that really you work feels at. like family to me he feels like cool. a brother and just it, when i'm not getting it or when he needs me to understand something he's like dude i need, he pulls me aside and just tells me straight up like what's wrong or what's good or keep doing like that and i know what he wants like as a director and he knows what i want right. as the writer right and we always meet up and have a drink before we film and kind of go over everything right. and discuss it that's super cool I, it's cool to just have that sense of brothers in arms and that totally. you're both working something working towards something together that's bigger than you it's 
it means a lot more to not just you but to a lot of other people. And I mean, now you're seeing the fruits of your labor as far as the way that the video is going on YouTube. Hundreds of thousands of views there. Thousands of views on uh, Facebook, of course. Um, the stars of the show actually seeing the content, enjoying it. Lots of great comments I've been seeing myself. And, and it's just and, episode one. And it was episode one. And then the anticipation for episode two. People really want to see episode two. People were two. so hype in our so panel So you better for deliver it. or else we're coming for you. No, uh, like I told you. <laughs> don't come for don't, me. You can, don't at me. No one's coming out. for Litford. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can, like what I said earlier is that I'm, I'm writing what I want to see, you know, right. so I really want to see reverse flash for zoom. So I wrote it in there. I wanted to see Jane and Eobard reunite after him go through some heavy stuff. It's in there. I mean, episode two is way gnarlier than episode one. And I really think we're going to impress the fans. All right. Well, I think at this point, Miguel, you are the sweetest. Everyone's pretty impressed. We're all ready to be Thank impressed. Thank you. All he right. goes, episode one was great. Rachel, you did amazing. Heather Gentry goes, that was me when meeting Jason Momoa. Oh, about the getting nervous meeting your stars. It's tough. Hands all sweaty. It's tough, Heather. Yeah. I know. All right. Well, before we go, we have the nerd vey that we can ask our lovely Colin because he is, of course, a cosplayer. He is... What the hell? The what? Man of the hour. The nerd what? It's a nerd. Or nerd ve, like a survey. Oh, cool. I can't. Why won't it show up? The rival versus reverse flash. That'd mm. be sick. Wait, Rachel's in reverse flash origins. Yeah, yeah. She's my, she's my future I'm his girlfriend. Well, I'm why his, don't you throw out? I play his love interest, why Jane Turner. If you watch the first episode, the opening scene, that is me, and I am in the second episode as oh, well. Oh, tell her. Tell them about the trailer. Who drives that trailer? Who drives my voiceover home? is on the entire trailer. Yep. As we're watching him struggling with. It's awesome. His, uh, I don't know, you're like a tortured soul His that demons. hates sand. Wow, again with the sand. <laughs> you can't get away from it. But just yeah. remember, tomorrow, tomorrow night, we are releasing the trailer for episode two. It's going to be sick. I'm so excited. Excellent. All yes. Right. Uh, I Come on, get find, it together. I can't find together. it. I don't know where it's at. It's well, I have memorized the questions, so okay. I'm going to ask them. <laughs> All right, go Good for job. it. Good job. All right, so we have a game that we play. Uh, well, not to ever send, but the Nerd Bay questions. I'll ask a few. Yeah. What I know was, the first uh, one. I know the first it? one. I mean, I, what? what's, your, what's your favorite coloring book as a kid? I think it was like DuckTales or something. Nice. No, it was Superman. It was definitely Superman. Okay. Yeah. Your fa uh, what's uh, an obscure cartoon character that you uh, identify with? Uh, V-Mon from season two of Digimon. Nice. He winked at me, but that was a wink out to the digi digital world. Um. <laughs> uh, what is your dream cosplay? Like, m like money, no object. What would you oh, want? Yeah, that's a good one. What would you want to put on? Uh, red Dino Thunder Ranger, because those suits are expensive. But like a tall? Like, what are we talking here? No, it's like, it's like. It's just a suit. It's a suit. It's a spandex suit with a helmet, and then you can go super Dino mode and get. I've always wanted to do this character, so. Because uh, my other ones would have been Flash and Reverse Flash and Ezra Miller Flash, and I've, I've been lucky enough to get all this. What is your favorite fandom? The fandom that you feel like kind of just defines you as a person almost, something that you just feel just an intense kinship towards. What is your just fandom above all fandoms? Is DC too broad? No, that's not, broad. That's not that broad. I'm, no. a, I'm a DC guy. Die hard. To the core. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm so sad that I can't. I think my list got deleted, but I, I kind of have a memorized uh, space. I'm sorry. Uh, chicken nugget or cheeseburger Happy Meal? Are we talking McDonald's? Yes. Oh, man. It's a Happy Meal. There we go. That's pick, an answer. That's an answer. Pick, you gotta, no, you got to pick one. McDonald's does me dirty. I'm going to go chicken. All yep. right. I like that. See, yep. the best part is that they pick an answer, and that's what I like. No, but like, I like their I like their. Colin, that's Colin right. taking me down. And to, we're going to call it. So our next part of our nerd day <laughs> is we're going to go on to Save or Sin. Ah. Save or Sin is a game we play. Based on the con experience for you are a con you know, yeah, congor. So uh, save. You're gonna save money on it and pass, or sin on it and spend. spend. So one of my favorite questions for saver sin is uh, con parking if it's close enough. Con, save or sin. Con adjacent parking. Con adjacent parking. Save or sin. Save. I'll walk. I'll walk a You'll long walk way and have really? a nice drink on the way. Yep. Nice. You obviously don't wear high heels. I don't. Rachel. <laughs> I really Con don't. Concession stand bottled water. Save or sin. Oh, save. I'd rather be thirsty. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. You're um, so tough, Colin. Thanks. Uh, food truck food. Save or sin? Sin. 
Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I no, just, we got to get specific with the foods. Okay, so food, food truck, truck food. Food truck pasta. Save or sin. Oh, I don't, I don't know about <laughs> that one. Okay, what about uh, food truck pizza? Uh, you know what? I'm a sucker for that pizza at the L.A. Convention Center. That's pretty good. Yeah. I, and it's like 10 bucks for a big slice, and you're like, what am I doing with my life? So, yes, wow. sin. <laughs> um, I'll say, um, did I say con – Oh, no, I already said that. Uh, oh, auto, uh, personalized autograph from a fan. I'm sorry, not from a fan, from a celebrity that you enjoy. Sorry. If it's Tom Welling, is it Tom Welling? Is it Grant Gustin? Give I, me I, I guess it's like, have you I, ever? Kind no, of thing. I've never done it. You've never paid for no, an autograph? Never. P you, so you it's got to be the right person to say. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you make people pay for your autograph. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a very weird feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? It's, it's just me. We're almost there, that? man. You're almost at the J Frey, so. All right. J. I Franco. think that's, uh, that's the most uh, of our uh, uh, that yeah. we used to do. Yeah, pretty much. That's, those are the heavy hitters. Um, do we have different ones for different brackets of people who attend cons because we have the photographer one. Uh, uh, we have boot, uh, people who uh, sell at the con. Yep. Yeah, so there's different, there's different brackets. Thank you very much. All right, so once again, do you want to throw out uh, any of your Instagram tags? Colin Bass, everybody, from Reverse Flash, you want to throw out uh, your Instagrams and your Facebook and your MySpaces. Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me, you guys. Absolutely. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so my name's Colin K. Bass. You, you can coming. find my pleasure. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Colin the Blur. You can find me on Facebook, Colin K. Bass. And then if you want to find Reverse Flash Origins, it is on the NerdBot YouTube and the NerdBot Facebook, right. and we do have our own reverse flash. Please subscribe. Facebook. It is growing so quickly. 100,000 views in what, less than a month? Maybe a month or two? Yeah, and weeks? then on our, our Spanish upload, it's even more. Oh, I haven't even seen the numbers on that. What is it at now? I think on the YouTube upload, it's 150 like 150K. Or, that's yeah. the last time I wow. checked. Wow, it and it's, it's crazy because. For whatever reason, they love us in the, in the Latin America Yeah, countries. people see the regular video and they're like, what? Oh, Telenovela. Yeah. Telenovela. Yeah. Cries in Spanish. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, you are crying in Spanish on the dub. Right? I know I am. There you right. are. So there you go. You are doing it. Rachel Lipfin, everybody. Here. Every uh, you can find me on all social media platforms under Rachel Litfin. My last name is spelled L-I-T-F-I-N. And if you can't remember that, I post under the hashtag Finn on Fire to help you remember it. Rachel Litfin, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. We got a, a couple last uh, call-in requests for, uh, they, they said you should do Rocky Horror. You could, Who said yeah, that? Uh, Tony Adams, fan of the show. I think if I saw Tony. you in like fishnets, that would just really ruin no. a lot of things for no. me. No. Wow. <laughs> what is Tony? You were so, you were on, so right about and, everything. And on the contrary, me seeing Colin fishnets would make a lot go right for me in, in essence as well. So. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You can make fun of me. You know, <laughs> nah, yeah, maybe. This just in: Colin's firstborn is named Anthony. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Because <laughs> there were battle lines drawn tonight. Do you no. like me more than you liked me before the show? A lot more now that I know that you can keep up with me and the rate on the show. I'm, I'm glad. Respect is there now, Thanks. sir. Are there, are there some people who can't keep up? There actually are people there who cannot keep up. There have been, and uh, we'll say what those people are as soon as we go off air. <laughs> oh, no. I hope it wasn't you. And that'll be the lit fin. No, but it, it's, it's been an awesome time having No, well, the reason being, I mean, having you here is awesome is because you've become such an essential force as far as the media aspect of what NerdBot is putting out there. And it's a huge chunk of that. Like, we had no presence on YouTube before. So we're just really grateful for you and Sean. And not just that, but the incredible work that you guys do and the enthusiasm that allows you guys to bring a team like bringing NerdBot on board, bringing LitFin on board, giving her a place to shine as well because she's a talent too. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. All right. So oh, that's the wrong outro. <laughs> um, but once again, we want, also want to let you know that we have announced the next Nerd Nights coming up November 9th. It's our last Nerd Nights of for the year. For 2017. If you don't hit it on November 9th, you're going to have to wait till 2018 for our next event. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, and it was a blast last time. Of course, we were bumping up from NerdBot. I'm sorry, NerdBot Con. Um, so this one's going to be just exclusively a Nerd Nights event. So you'll be able to get your wristband along with your ticket and get to party out with all the Nerd Bodians here, as well as uh, some awesome some cosplay guests that we have um the last few times ron oster from uh tim and eric had been showing up so you 
I mean, it's starting to be like you don't know who's going to show up at these things now. We've got a lot of friends with NerdBot. NerdBot's always growing. Uh, and you can find more information about that at NerdBot.com. And, of course, you can follow us on Facebook.com slash NerdBotMedia. We are also on Instagram at NerdBotMedia. And you can also find our chain of Instagrams there at uh, NerdNights. There's uh, Reverse Flash, I think, has its own Instagram. No, not yet. Just Soon follow, enough. Yeah. I, I, how do we get? How do we follow the Reverse Flash again? Sorry. Follow Colin. <laughs> follow Colin. I post the must. The just stuff follow about this it. Flash. Follow guy. Colin. So, I really should post more about it. I just. Please do. I'm so busy. Yeah. <laughs> She's so busy, and yet here she is. Hosting you know the NerdBot broadcast. That's right. I already. admit, okay, and that's I how am we do. Every Monday night. Every Monday night. I am ladies here and for you. That's right. So we got a whole week of programming for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, stay tuned for the Love Tank. Uh, stay tuned for NerdBot Girls Draw. Uh, Flatline TV, friend of the show, Carlos Velarde has that. Of course, you can find all that information and more at nerdbot.com. Uh, be on the lookout again for Reverse Flash Origins 2, Episode 2. The trailer is dropping tomorrow. You'll be seeing Colin Bass there, Rachel Litfin, and I'm your host, Anthony Ayala. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you, guys. Once again, Nerd Nights, November 9th. If you don't know, now you know. Colin's going to be there, pretty sure. Obligated, contractually obligated to be there. We love this guy. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, everybody.